All right, I put together an exercise to help create more power and explosiveness in your kicks. Um, there's nothing more explosive than jumps. Jumps will also make you stronger. If you do circuits of jumps over and over and over again, your deadlifts, your squats will get stronger just from how much power you have to put into each jump. Um, I have a little progressive exercise here. Start off on base one, whatever you should start off on is just getting that technique of a jump and find something that you can jump over with ease and then eventually challenge yourself. Right now I have something a little mid-range. I have hurdles. I use jumps in all of my training. Um, like I said, it helps create explosiveness and that power within your kicks. And so this is something I use within my strength and conditioning, within my training. And I've been using it for years, okay? So the first thing you can do, I mean, if you have to take a step into it, feel free, a little bit of momentum helps. But again, find something you feel comfortable with when you start. Um, these hurdles are nice here. These are the smart hurdles because they collapse when I land on them if I don't fully clear them, right? So these ones are pretty safe, but you can use, uh, you can even do uh, box jumps. I like something you use to jump over and stick the landing because that eccentric part of the workout is very important for being explosive, okay? So again, broad jump style, you stand here, jump over it, try to get an easier chest, stick the landing, right? Don't stand tall and jar your knees and don't come all the way down. Stick that landing, right? Come around, get about five minutes. I don't want to do too many to where you get tired because when you can't jump over it, you're not actually doing the exercise. So get it done to where you can stick the landing, do five, right? Three rounds of five. And you'll, you'll be surprised at how sore your core and your legs will be. So again, just standing broad jump if you're uh, decent at it. Distance, you know, a couple feet away. Look, get your chest, stick the landing. Come back around. Again, if you have a little trouble and you need momentum, you can step into it. Stick the landing, right? That's base one. Make sure you can get the technique of the jump down. Knees your chest. If you have to kick your feet sideways when you're jumping over and things like that, it's too high for you. Get the technique down first. Make sure your knees are coming to your chest as jumping. You step into it, you do a broad jump here. Knees to chest, stick that landing, okay? The next progression into this, once you get this down, is that proprioceptive eccentric contraction. So when I land now, I'm gonna land on one foot. Right, really have to use that balance and strength when you land. Then I need to take three quick steps out of it. Okay, so stick the landing, hold it for a second, and then sprint out of it. Create that strength of being athletic at the same time. So again, you can step into it, you can stand your broad jump over it, knees to chest when you jump, stick the landing one leg, and then quick sprint out. All right? Stick it on the other leg. You're gonna favor one more than the other. That's why I like doing one-legged stuff. You can feel the difference. You can feel what you need to work on, okay? All right, same exact thing. You're gonna land on the opposite foot. Sprint out. All right? The last progression, once you get that down, you're gonna have to very hard one. You start doing consecutive jumps. You spread these out close together so you have to jump higher or further apart so you have to jump further. They both have a reason, but for this workout here, and for my kicks in particular, I'm gonna get them close. So I have to jump high and over them. Again, if you have to step into it, you can. You can use your chest, as soon as you land, stick the landing, right? And I can do two, three, or four hurdles. But again, depending on that, it's how many times you're gonna to wanna to do reps. I would do three hurdles at most and do it five times, three by five. After five jumps, you stick them, land them, take a couple minutes off. It's something that really hits your central nervous system, so you need that break. One more example. Knees to chest, stick the landing, if you want, sprint out. Get out to it. I think that's the best exercises to add to your workouts for uh, power and explosiveness in your kicks. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you push the subscribe button below, turn on all notifications, and be sure to check out all free content on tgdillashaw.com.